Hello guys, this is Mr. Surplus Nut, and I'm bringing a video um, on a request that I had on my channel on how do I maintain my bench rest gun. And obviously, we're going to start off by the main principle of any rifle to maintain it, which is like cleaning um, the barrel inside. I mean, we're not going to do the actual cleaning. This rifle has been cleaned already. Um, from the time I bought it, I brought it back from the range. I cleaned it inside with the um, with my cleaning rods, you know, properly. Um, later on, I will be making a video on the proper way of cleaning any bolt action rifle. Um, but basically, the um, the request was on this rifle that I had it custom built, and it's all stainless steel and it has been polished to a mirror uh, shine finish and I mean it's so polished that it actually looks like if it's chromed but it's not it hasn't been hard chromed or anything everything on this rifle all the metal is um, stainless steel and it has just been polished to a mirror shine finish and they asked me how do I uh, maintain the rifle um, obviously the first thing you do is every time you use the rifle you know you come back from the range you want to give it a thorough cleaning um, and leave it properly um, you know lubricated inside with some type of corrosive um, corrosion protection in this case I've used um, after I clean it with all you know the different patches and all that and the whole inside of the barrel is clean um, I go ahead and I run a few patches with that Hopi's 9 lubricating oil or if not I use like croil and just leave the inside really wet and I make sure that before I go to the range again I dry it all up um, so basically what we're gonna cover in this video is the outside of the rifle um, something uh, a build like this it's something that it's an investment and you really need to take care of it um, but most likely in every rifle um, it needs to be uh, you know maintained um, you wanna pull your rifles out once in a while from your safe and clean them up you know the outside inside uh, you know keep them lubricated so basically what we're gonna cover in this first part of this video it's going to be the things that I use for this rifle. Um, this rifle is, like I said before, it's stainless steel. It's not, it doesn't have like a blue finish on the metal. So obviously you need some type of um, polishing compound or polishing cream. Um, something that would really clean the actual surface of the rifle and also leave like some type of film on it that will protect all the stainless steel that has been polished and in this case um, I'm using um, Blue Magic metal polishing cream um, it's very very good some people um, use um, mothers and there's a lot of stuff in the market but I think this thing works really really good um, it says here in the can this is the can right here okay blue magic and it says for chrome aluminum and mag wheels but underneath it says safe for stainless steel and fiberglass cleans and shines and protects and and on the top here it's got a little emblem that says recommended by consumer magazines and they got the number one on there so it's a very very good uh, cream it cleans uh, you know just about anything that you can that you need to clean with and polish and this is what I use for the stainless steel part. You know, everything that has been polished, I, I repolish it with this to maintain that nice shiny luster on the stainless steel. And obviously for the wood, again, I'm using um, the uh, Swifter Dust and, si and Shine Furniture Spray. It conditions the wood and it treats it. I rather have Pledge, but in this case, um, this is what my wife has you know in the house so far right now but uh, I'm telling I'm gonna tell her that when this thing uh, goes out 
to buy um, pledge. I'd rather have the pledge. It's a lot better. Um, if you guys have seen my other videos, I, I, I uh, uploaded a video on all my surplus rifles and the proper maintenance that you need to do to those old uh, guns. And, um, um, you know, check that out and you'll see where I was using the Febreze with the polishing rag. This is the same rag. This is the rag that I have designated for that. Um, I mean, on one side, it still smells like Febreze. The other side is a little bit more dry, which I use one side to polish the wood, one side to apply the um, Febreze or Pledge, whatever you might be using. Okay, so this rag is like designated for that. I use it just for this now. And, um, and what we're gonna use when we get into uh, the bolt, meaning that um, once I pull the bolt out and I start applying the cream to polish the whole bolt, because so everything in this gun, all metal, is stain, uh, polished stainless steel, I use basically like an old sock. And what I do is I just put it on my hands and go from there and start, you know, um, one hand with a sock, an old sock, to be able to grab the bolt and the other one to apply the cream and then polishing it and um, and you don't want to have you know oils on your hands or anything that once you get that bolt really nice and clean you're putting fingerprints all over it so when we get to the bolt part most likely you guys are going to see me with two old socks on my hands on each hand um, <clears throat> or just one to hold the bolt the other one to apply the cream and this old shirt you can get an old shirt like this just to do the polishing on the metal um, some people they get paper towel um, depending what type of paper towel you use um, it might have a little bit of a rough surface and it might leave like swirl marks on your metal which you don't want to have that okay <clears throat> so this is my custom bench rest rifle the only one I have it took me a while to um, uh, to get it custom built it was built by Suarez tactical rifle here in Miami you guys can check out his channel uh, if you go to my channel I have um, a uh, his uh, channel listed on there I can't remember the name right now and I also you can check out this a few rifles that he's building or that he has built um, especially his bench rest um, 6.5 by 47 Lapua and you can see me shooting that rifle and this one at the uh, range here in Miami if you click to his channel and look for that video um, but yeah this rifle was built by him it's extremely accurate um, <clears throat> I also have a video just posted on this rifle actually two videos uploaded on this rifle and I show and I show the type of groups that I get with this gun this gun is basically like a, uh, a one hole gun meaning that it'll shoot like five shots at a hundred yards inside like a, a dime you know size circle or dot shoots about probably like a three eighths um, to a half inch you know um, basically at a hundred yards um, it's got a uh, the um, the target scope by Mueller's it's an A by 32 by 44 extremely clear scope no problems with that scope and um, it hasn't given me no problem it's really really clear all the way around the edges even at, at its highest power which is 32 it can bring the, your targets really up close and it's got a very nice reticle which has got the target dot with a very fine um, reticle on it and I haven't had no problems once the rifle I sighted it I haven't had to touch the um, the uh, settings on it it's, it's just very accurate um, I usually shoot this gun I reload for it and I shoot with um, I use Barget powder and Barget powder is to me is the best powder out there for 308 bolt action rifles if you reload for them um, 308 um, Winchester um, this is what the caliber that this rifle is built on and um, Barget it's really really a very good powder because it's, it's, it's not sensitive to uh, temperature change so whatever 
temperature might be outside or it will not affect your groupings okay so that's why it's, once I started reloading with that powder I was using before reloader 15 uh, which is I've been I've gotten good results with that too um, but once I I, st I stuck with um, Barget I don't it, I don't have to really depending on the temperature outside since the uh, powder is not affected by temperature change I don't have to adjust my turrets or do any adjustment to the siding that's been already done on this gun. So <clears throat> um, it's all custom built, free floated barrel. It's pillar and glass bedded. Um, it's got a jewel trigger. Um, you know, yeah, this rifle is, is outrageous. I love shooting this rifle, and especially when I reload for it. Um, you know, it's just, uh, it shoots are unbelievable. So we're gonna go ahead and come back and get started with the uh, cleaning part of it. Um, basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna clean the stock and then we're gonna give it a quick cleaning on the metal just to show you guys um, what I do to it. I mean, it's, there's nothing really, um, you know, uh, hard about it. So this thing does a really, really good job and again i haven't used mothers sometimes i've used br uh, brasso it, it also does a great job on the metal uh, i sometimes i clean it with this sometimes i clean it with brasso this time i'm going to use the blue magic and <clears throat> i'll catch you guys back please subscribe to my channels tell you buddies about my channels i'm trying to upload really good videos if you guys know of any way of trying to expose myself that, that i can get people to know my channel um, let me know, leave me a message, send me a, uh, an email or um, anything, leave me a message on my channel and um, I'll be right back.